Hello world, welcome back to this channel Code Artisan Lab. In my previous tutorial, we have created a form and uh, get the data with jQuery. Now in this section, in this section, I will uh, save the data with jQuery, Ajax and Laravel. So let's start. So we will open our create template and add our Ajax functionality dollar dot Ajax URL will be URL will be I'll put this with double curly braces and URL will be employee create and type equal to post data is form data data type we want to get as a JSON and before send we will show the button loading so we will here use this class save data and dot add class disable and the text is loading and in the success function in the success function I will get the response and we will make this normal making this normal we need to remove the class and add the text submit and we will show the message data has been successfully submitted so I will create a p tag here and it's it will be class ajax response and in the success we will show not html not html I will show the text data has been added okay <clears throat> so now we will create a post method in our route file post and it will be a store now we will create a method store and pass the request context and we will uh, use the employee actually we need to create a employee model so we will create the employee model first then we will do the other things so here we will create php artisan make model employee and with migration so it has been created successfully now I will go to the database and open the migration employee migration file open this and add the three columns and all columns will be a string so here will be full name and the second will be email and the third will be contact so now I will migrate this php artisan migrate so migration has been successfully php artisan so now I have restarted my server 
so now I can use the employee database uh oh I'm not uh, we are using in migration but we need to use in our controller okay so now we will create a MP equal to new employee and this will be our this will be our full name equal to uh, dollar m not dollar m it will be a request full name request contains a both request get and post so i am not here defining the http verb i am just simply getting the in uh, getting the data so here we will save full name email contact this will be contact email so now i will return response json i will return response json true so i will return as a bool true so now i will check this now we are able to save the data in database so i think all things we have set told the all things so we need to check this and uh, yeah we can check that okay now we will open the terminal uh, syntax error is coming unexpected return so here we will forget to add the semicolon here we forget to add the semicolon my english is awesome so now i will so when we submit actually it is showing some error uh, i know this why this is showing this because we forgot to add the crsf token so i have told you already that without this token we can't Im imagine to submit the form just we can't submit the form so so here submit so our bool is true so our data has been submitted in the database so one thing i need to do that uh, we will add a reset button and when bool is true then i will trigger the reset button so i will add here a reset button input type a reset i will not mention the name i will just mention the class button button dark reset button and when we have successfully done this then we will reset the when we trigger the reset button click trigger uh, actually trigger click <coughs> sorry <coughs> so trigger click now we will check again Alex Alex at the rate gmail.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine submit so trigger button has been uh, clicked and our form has been reset and all things has been done so data has been added or message is showing now so we have successfully submitted our form with jquery ajax and laravel i hope this will help you and if you like the channel please please subscribe like share and comment thank you so much